Coding rules are rules that project admins can configure to enforce certain review behaviors. There are two types of coding rules, conditional and autocode. Conditional rules require users to perform certain actions when specific criteria are met. For example, you might be required to add a note to a document in order to rate the document hot. The second type of coding rule is called an autocode rule. Autocode rules ensure that all documents in a particular context, meaning exact duplicates, attachment families, email threads, or document versions, are automatically coded in the same way for particular categories. For example, with autocode rules, you could code one document, and all duplicates of the document will be automatically coded the same way. Let's start by talking about how to review documents with conditional rules. You will only interact with conditional rules if your coding decisions violate a conditional rule. Let's try rating a document hot that doesn't have a note. When this occurs, you will see a red toast notification. This means that the condition of the conditional rule has been satisfied, but the requirement has not been satisfied. Clicking See All will let you view your project's conditional rules. In this example, the condition is rated hot, while the requirement is has notes. Put another way, in order for the document to be rated hot, a note must be applied. The document is in violation, therefore, because it has been rated hot, but it does not have any notes applied. If you close the review window while the document is still in violation of a conditional rule, none of your changes will be saved, including changes that are not in violation of the conditional rule. If you attempt to move to another document without satisfying the requirement, a notification will appear letting you know that your review decisions will not be saved. If you choose OK, you will move to the next document, and none of the changes you have made to the document will be saved, including changes that were not in violation of the conditional rule. If you choose Cancel, you will remain on the current document so that you can make the appropriate changes. Now, let's talk about how to interact with autocode rules during review. Autocode rules are configured to automatically apply or remove codes to or from contextual documents. If an autocode rule is configured in your project, you will see a wand in the upper left-hand corner of your Codes tab. Click the wand to see which coding categories your project's autocode rules apply to. By default, autocode is always active, which means that certain codes will automatically be applied to documents based on the project's autocode rules. Users with autocode override permission have the ability to override autocode rules. If you override autocode rules in the review window, your coding changes will only be applied to the current document. If there are contextual documents that did not get coded because autocode rules were overridden, they will be displayed as autocode rule violations on the project settings page to project administrators. Below settings, you can see how many documents in each context are associated with an autocode rule. To display the autocode rules, click See Autocode Rules. The first rule specifies that any time a document is coded under the Responsiveness category, all documents in its email thread will automatically receive the same code. The second rule specifies that any time a document is coded under the Review Status category, all of the document's exact duplicates will automatically receive the same code. As long as autocode rules are active, you do not need to do anything to satisfy them. Whenever you code the document, the additional documents specified by autocode rules will be automatically coded with the same code. Now let's try to code a document's responsiveness. When you navigate to the next document, you will see a notification to inform you of how many documents were autocoded as well. Since the autocode rule for responsiveness applies to email threads, it has automatically coded the other emails in this thread with the responsiveness code. Now let's talk about the interaction between the two types of coding rules. Documents coded directly cannot be coded in violation of a conditional rule, as we mentioned at the beginning. However, 
It is possible that conditional rules can be violated if a document is coded via autocode. To illustrate this complex topic, let's walk through a specific example. One of the project's conditional rules is that in order to code a document's review status, you must code the document's privilege type first. If we try to code document A's review status, but we haven't marked the privilege type like our conditional rule requires, then Everlaw will not allow us to save this coding change because we are trying to directly code a document in violation of a conditional rule. In this situation, no documents will be coded directly or via autocode rules. However, let's say we add a privilege type code and then we code document A's review status. Now, the conditional rule is satisfied for this individual document. As you may recall, we also have an autocode rule where all duplicates will be automatically coded for review status. So when we move on to the next document, the autocode rule will also code the exact duplicates under review status. The autocode rule causes the exact duplicates to be in violation of the conditional rule because the exact duplicates do not have privilege codes applied. For more information, visit our help documentation at support.everlaw.com or feel free to contact us by message, email, or phone.